All right, here we are again. Today we're going to be opening up the November Zen Pop stationery box. If you aren't aware, it's got cute little stationery in it straight from Japan. And I'm gonna open it up, find out what it contains, and then we'll try and, I don't know, do something creative with it. Pink. These are the two papers that uh, describe what's inside. Also an advertisement for their other boxes. And inside, this feels actually a little spookier than the last box. We've got some black toned sticky note papers with ant eaters and a night sky. It's an interesting assortment, I would say. I remember when I was like seven, I went to a birthday party and they gave us black sticky notes like this and then gel pens. I thought it was so cool. So I wonder, oh wait, here's one. The Signo white gel pen by Uniball. This used to be my go-to gel pen, but lately I've gone back to just the Sakura ones. But watch this, we can add more stars. There's nothing quite like a brand new gel pen. Although lately with my white gel pen, what I'll do is as soon as I grab it, I just give it like a little bit of a tap and I haven't had any problems yet. I don't want to like push my luck, but I've been very happy with the results. Next, I see some drop seals. Very shiny, let me get them out of here. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of gems and crystals, beveled squishy stickers. They have a uh, thickness to them. Very cute, makes me think of like witches and stuff. All right, I see a little round sticker with the Zen Pop mascot, Luna. And I'm reading, it says there are four stars, one for every year of the Zen Pop box. The birthday bonus sticker. Also, is this candy? I like the packaging. It's round, reminds me of like a gumball machine. It's another birthday bonus. I can't say it. This word is the sugar candy that Jin Pizan ate in the cute story from your memo pad. What? The story? I see two washi tapes. I'm getting so distracted. I'm sorry. This one has glittery stars on it. So pretty. Last month's washi tape was a little underwhelming. It was a skinny tape, which I don't tend to use very much. But this one, it's got those blue cool tones that I love. And it's got the little shiny bits that look like stars and planets. One is definitely the moon. I just want a lot. I've gotten the habit of using like washi tape to hang up little notes or whatever on the wall. And it's just so much cuter and it doesn't get stuck like sticky tape does. Let's see what the other washi tape, it looks like it also has stars on it. I am sensing a theme. Stars, 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 can draw stars. Oh, whoa, it's got an extra plastic case on it. It doesn't have a straight edge. Wait, let me open it up and show you. See if we can get in here. Ah, I'm free. Kind of looks like paint with stars on it. Grab a piece. Oh, wow. So like upside down, it kind of looks scalpy, but this way it looks like paint dripping. So if you put it on like the top of your page, it looks like paint. That's so cool. We're gonna have to find a way to use that. Even this candy looks like a star. Next, we have these little notepads. This one has those whales. I kind of recognize them from the last, might have been the box before, but it looks like there's like an angel whale, more stars, penguins at the bottom, and, oh, are these the candies they were talking about? Kind of looks like them. How cute. <laughs> the little connections. The whales look like they have constellations and stars inside of them, which is a nice little touch. I like the color scheme of these, the yellow pastels and the pinks. Next up, we have a star. Oh, it's a little binder clip, but it's a star. How cute is that? How do I get it out of here though? There we go. That makes me think of the 90s. I feel like everything had these little clear plastic shapes on them. My biggest issue with binder clips is usually they hurt your fingers, but this has a much wider shape, so it works really well. I feel like I've been drawing a lot of stars lately because of Hyacinth and Sage, and then it kind of just stuck with me, and I've been drawing stars on everything, like around the borders and stuff. So this is only feeding my obsession. All right, next we have an art supplies. Oh, it's one of the Moonlight Sakura gel pens. It looks like it's in the color teal, but this is the Moonlight one, which means it works really well on dark surfaces. Kind of like our little notepad here. Teal stars. I feel like this box has a lot in it. More stars and planets. Antibacterial two pocket mask case. Who would have thought I'd be excited about this? So there's a white mask in here, a disposable one. And then here is a case to keep it in. I assume it's like to keep it in your bag as an extra one so that it's not bumping up into all the stuff in your bag and it won't have any germies on it. Very handy if you're one of the people that likes leaving the house. Oh, it has two pockets. It's like one for used and one not used. There's this pocket. And there's this pocket. You can keep two masks. Let's see what they have to say. This case has two pockets. One where you can put a stock of ready to use masks. Another one to place your used mask if you need to take it off for a moment. You can also use it as a pencil case or a beauty pouch. Problem is my purse is smaller than this. Actually just keeping this in your car would be smart. Hmm. Handy, facey, 
<laughs> just trying to make a pun that didn't work. Anyway, the last thing in the box is this. It's in the color pink. It's a two-way color marker. It looks like one side has like a highlighter and the other side has like a bullet nib. One second. This is the tiny side. It's definitely pink, I think. It's like a grayish pink. And then this side, that's much brighter. It's almost like a graphite gray color. It's two pens in one. So I'm gonna try and do what I did last time where I use a couple of them. Almost create a tiny mood board. These are kind of transparent so you can actually see behind them. Oh, I really like this one. It's a hourglass of stars. That's really cute. And then we have the washi tape. Put it across the top and see if it looks like paint spilling. Imagine that at the top of your bullet journal. And we also have this one which is a bit more of like on the green side, but I like the reflective stars a lot. And then we have this thing. So there's lots of like blues and cool colors. We also have this sticky note. So we have the anteater. Oh, it's a tapir. Is that different from an anteater? It looks like an anteater. Let's see how this looks on white paper. Okay, I'm sensing a good color scheme here. And we have the pink, which looks really nice with that green. And then we also have the white, which you can probably draw on top of this. And like this. What should we do with this? It's exciting. I definitely have to go stars. I don't know how I would incorporate this. That seems a little maybe excluded, but we'll definitely use the art supplies. See what kind of black paper I have. All right, I found two different sheets of black paper that I already own. This one is Van Gogh watercolor paper. So it's like really thick. This one is ultra black paper by Legion. This one says it's good for graphite, colored pencil, pastels, marker, and ink. So I guess I'll use this one. Now we definitely Definitely need to swatch out some ideas before we just jump into the piece of paper. How do the gems look on top of that? Can you see them? What if we go for like a alchemist sort of vibe? How does the washi tape look on the black paper? Okay, yeah. We could use that for like loathes or something. Let's sketch with like the end of this pen. I really like the idea of the hourglass full of stars. Like it's some kind of spell. I'm gonna just try and draw something like that since it's not a very organic shape. Very voluminous here. And it's full of stars. And a little pile of stars in the bottom. Doing some brainstorming. I do like this color scheme with the pink and the turquoise. There's also these like little jars full of stars. So it's gonna be definitely drawing a lot of things that I don't always draw. So it's gonna take a little bit more prep work, I would say, like experimentation. I'm trying to draw a gem. Gotta be kind of like reflective looking, right? And I also have to keep in mind, the goal is to try and draw on black paper. Let's try and like thumbnail something. With like the hourglass maybe. I want the stars there. It'd be really cool if I could make it look like it's glowing or something. But I'm not entirely sure how to go about that, especially on black paper. <laughs> Every time I've tried to use black paper, it never really turns out that well. So we'll see if today is just randomly different. The issue I have is I don't know where to put like the dark lines. And when I draw inverted, I get really, really confused. What if we like have them leaning on it? I got nothing but time. There you go. There's the title of my illustration. <laughs> we'll probably add stars and everything. Well, I also kind of want to include some planets. What if she's sitting on a planet? Like a little one? Gotta give it a ring. All the best planets have rings. Although Earth ain't so bad. <laughs> a big ponytail would be cute. With some like star earrings. Gotta really emphasize all the stars. We'll keep this big circular ponytail if the composition works out. We have to try and fit that shape. So if we have that like big Earth here with the rings, although you won't see it if it's that big. Turn the hourglass a little bit. Put the body on there somewhere. I like the leaning on it. it. Gives the character some personality, kind of like she's bored. I liked that hand up there. This one coming that way. We could do double buns, like double circles. We definitely need to make the layout a little bigger so the whole drawing would be smaller. Then you add the stars, block out the shape. I kind of shrunk the body a little. Now the hourglass would need to end up higher. It has some redeeming qualities. I'm trying to decide if I prefer her sitting on the foot or the like little pointy toe. We can add this planet. See if any rings fit in here. What if the rings are made out of stars too? And that hourglass right there. 
And then the whole thing's gonna be on um, black paper. How am I gonna color it? It's kind of cool, but also invisible. I could use like some acrylic paint. It'd kind of be like a retry on that first Elo sketchbook cover that I painted. I'm gonna try just turning the character, giving it a whole new perspective and see if that like gives me any new creativity or ideas or something. Try the character first. Hourglass back here, maybe? give her an hourglass figure maybe to mimic it or should I do it with a more straight body to give contrast and the planet <laughs> I think the hourglass is cuter when they're leaning on it I just don't want it to be like between the legs if we do like something very similar to that one where the characters basically just sitting on this right here legs quite the same ish and have them leaning to the side where the hourglass is let's find some of these lines here and see if it still looks good stars inside this i wonder if i could reverse that pose so that the hourglass is on the other side we'll figure this out takes a few more sketches hourglass is like here and the character leaning on it like this I might like this one the best. She looks kind of like a, like a goddess or something. We'll make her the goddess of time. Probably already is one, but this is mine. This is all gonna be black, right? This is obviously not black, this is gray. You have to use paint for all the rest. And I'd have to figure out how to paint see-through glass. Very tricky. <laughs> Do some stars in here. That's our color scheme. We have the reddish black from using the pink on top of it. We also have white. We have the washi tape. I wonder if we could use that for like some kind of outfit. Unfortunately, I think this doesn't end up getting used, but it's so pretty. I wonder if we could use that color scheme in some way. It's harder than it looks. It needs the stars. So you won't be able to put that as the background if we use the black paper. Got my brain on wanting to use paints, but I don't really have a lot of paint colors. I mean, we can try it and if it fails, we'll just go back to markers. How am I ever gonna get better if I don't try a couple times? We'll try on this. If it's a total fail, like really quickly, we'll move to the big thicker paper. Oh, I'm getting nervous. That's a good sign. Tape it down. I like that sound or not? Let's take a poll. Yes, tape scrunches or no tape scrunches sketchings first right maybe a colorist pencil might show up the rembrandt white pastel we can sketch with this we draw this one here let's we'll see how it goes we've got the planet down here nice big hourglass of time hips kind of twist so then the legs come from there i drew the character too big so if we bring the hip up here the knee might be there this knee would be here I think if we just grab this and move it upwards, we might be in good shape. Move the hips up. <laughs> it ended up in the same place. It keeps ending up in the exact same spot. Oh, I think I know what's wrong. In this, this shoulder's higher than that shoulder, which gives this chest area this shape, elongates everything. So the torso should be the opposite as well. And that kind of makes it difficult to draw in the legs. Bring the knee like here, point the toe there. Try again. These legs! But now you're not gonna see the hourglass like at all. That was the whole point in having the body go that way. It basically reverted back to these two. I mean, this looks more anatomically correct, so it's not like hurting my head or anything. I do think I'm gonna go with this right now though, cause I do wanna try out the other parts of the idea and see if those are plausible. Now, if I'm going to be throwing paint on here, there's no real point in adding a ton of detail. This will be full of stars. Come through here. We should try and add in some paint. A couple golden paints I forgot to add. And then these are what I have a ton of. I kind of like the look of the pink. is isn't quite the same pink. Maybe if we add a little red to it. Green planet. I think that looks cool. I got a couple paint brushes. I'm going to just use this one. Color in the character. And then use the darker blue for like the hair. And then I wanted green. That's for the planet. 
but that's a little too earthy. I want it to kind of glow more, so maybe more yellow. It's a little lighter. You could put just like pink mixed into the planet. I don't know, that's like almost complimentary color. That's not gonna look good. We could do purple though, maybe. You can tell that the green's a higher quality paint though. I like this. I feel like this feels more fantasy-esque. Maybe we should stick with like pink for the body. And maybe gradient-y purples and pinks. Maybe something weird and blotchy, like a gas planet. We can put these stars in there. Maybe we should go more blue for the hair. Nothing speaking to me. I still like this the best. If I just need to paint in black in the background or something. See what it's working with. That's kind of cool because it looks like sort of like pastel cotton candy colors and with the dark background. We could probably follow that pretty well actually. First we just gotta lay down flat colors. So we want like pinks and purples. A bigger one. For the planet. Just kind of start blopping it down. Might need a couple coats depending on how opaque this is gonna be. And we could throw in some pink blobs here and there. Kind of going with like a very painterly patchy vibe. Really hide that black paper underneath there. All right, that looks very planety to me. I'll take it. Color in the character, but I don't want it to be quite as light as that. I feel like I want to mix the pink with a little bit of yellow, maybe. I don't think I like this color. Let's add some of this. What's that turquoise color I was looking for? That looks so pretty on the black paper. It's got like a hint of green from the pink and the yellow. Ooh. Darken that color a little for this back leg. Kind of just laying it down, seeing what happens. That's buckling really bad. The paper was a really bad idea. It's not buckling here. Where's the face? It was there. I think I liked it better when it was all one flat color. I don't know. I forgot clothes. Is it too late? Color scheme's pretty cohesive, so I should take a win with that. Here we go. Not so naked anymore. Turtleneck might be cute. Spacey. Eyelashes. Might go in with some purple, maybe for the blush instead of the light blue. Just a much lighter purple. Blend that out a little. I'm having fun with this light little paintbrush because this is usually where I get the most nervous with the painting is like doing trying to do little details. When your skin's blue, it's kind of hard to add blush. I use this as like a liner, maybe? Guess I should make her hair more purple. To make it kind of stand out more from the page. Kind of blending in with the black background. A little uh, dimension there, maybe. Try to add in maybe the hourglass. Grab some white paint. Draw the outside. Needs like some uh, shiny bits. A smaller one on this side. I like the way the white looks. There's so much contrast. Gotta figure out a way to put the stars in there though. Kinda looks like a gumball machine. Now that I added the white, I'm seeing the lack of contrast in the rest of it. Either make the skin lighter or the outfit darker. You know what also might be interesting? We actually use the pens that came in the box. What happens when you like go on the outside? <gasps> that looks really cool. Looks like wine art. What about stars? It doesn't really show up on that color, but it shows up up here. I'm adding some stars. Thought maybe that would make it look different than the skin a bit more. Reminds me of a gymnastics leotard. I can use this white gel pen for even finer details in the stars. Trying to make the planet look like it's glowing. What if I use this? Throw in some pink. I'm just adding some depth with it. See what happens. Playing around. I do wish I could like blend it out somehow though. Still trying with that face. It's actually erasing pretty well. That's a little too extreme. That white highlight on the head. Ooh, no. This, I feel like ended up too bright. I need to like tone it down. I might try that navy blue. Shrink it down. A little less white.
Hmm, face feels like a lost cause. Also, the hourglass. It looks like an hourglass, but I can't get the stars inside. Yeah, just not enough contrast, especially in like the face. I wonder if I could just use this as our highlight on the cheeks and everything. I want to remove this, just pick it up. Just kind of look at it, really appreciate the train wreck up close. Okay, it's not that bad. I should have done it in markers, that's all. Ooh, look at that clean edge. Mm. I might just try and redraw this whole thing just with markers because I don't think the color scheme's wrong. It's just there's like contrast issues and my paint handicap. I'm gonna try again to do that pose because I like it better. Got your hourglass, got your body. So this shoulder has to be up higher. And then you have this, and then you have this. Dish, dish, dish. And then this little foot. This shoulder's coming up this way. And it goes back onto that arm. And then here's where the planet thing is. We can put the ring in. Now we'll put big stars in here, maybe. I'll try to do it more straight on. I think that'll be easier. Play around with the head shape a little more. I think the torso ended up too long, but we'll roll with it. Also, there's no room for the big hair. Let's like pull it down here. It's all lower half of the face. I guess that's what happens when you look up. I should be able to get a lot more detail because markers more my art supply. Whenever I paint, it just, I feel like it reverts back to the art I used to make like six years ago. And that it doesn't feel great as an artist, but it's probably because it's an art supply that I have the experience that I had with drawing five years ago. So it makes sense, but dang, it's soul crushing. <laughs> Grab some line art. I'll use the Ohu one. I'll leave the pupils for later. Kind of not connecting these lines to make it a little softer since it's hair. I'm gonna look at that hourglass reference one last time. It's got lines here. Like a little metal piece. And the glass is here. And we'll just draw in those stars as they are. I don't want to overthink it. Not try to make it too realistic because I mean it doesn't really make sense. So if I try to overthink it, it'll just be worse. Oh, this looks so much better. See, I just had to simplify it. The planet. Maybe we'll leave space for that sh sh ring. The kneecap here. The legs are kind of like coming back together so that the feet are kind of lined up even though the knees aren't. Oh shoot, I wanted the stripe to go in front. We can probably use something opaque like a Posca pen or something. I guess I should do the pupils. Whoa, straight on the chin's even bigger. Okay, I think I need to change the chin. You don't want to forget too much because she is looking up so like it is going to cause distortion. All right, colors. I don't mind the purple planet. We can do that again. Let's just try to find the right purple. Too blue. I will hold on to that because it looks like it might be handy. And that's kind of in between those two. It's like a pinky purple. This looks pink. That looks like that color that I use for the skin tone. I really like the navy blue leotard with the teal stars. This is drying out. This one. We'll start with the light one and layer it up. We can use this for inside the hourglass and this for the rest. That has these teal stars on it. Oh wait, it's still wet. Just a second. If we can use this for the headband. I get to see some of the little tiny glitter stars. And that makes me happy. Is this ready? They're not quite showing up as well. Might need a darker blue. I could go over it with dark neutral gray. And then maybe we'll go over that again with the blue to just bring a little more blue into it. Okay, skin tone. Kind of want like a greenish blue. I'll probably start with this and build up from there. Wow, this color does not like being layered over the cool erase pencil. That's really weird. It's not that bad because it's got a lot of contrast, but I might use this purple. That's a little dark. If this is dry, what we'll do is just add in these stars. Now they show up. Isn't that much better? 
Careful about our random placement. Okay, I think I want the skin to be more closer to this color. Green on top. I originally was thinking this one. Let's try. Only one way to find out. I think I like that better. I wonder if I can use this for the lips. I think I'll do that for all the areas where I used to the purple. Blush on the knee. Nose. Yeah, I think I'm liking this color better than that. And the toes. So for the hair, I think I'll start with the dark neutral gray that I used for the outfit without putting the blue underneath. And we can add one of these blues on top. I kind of want to find this color. Sardonyx. So for the planet, I wanted was it one of these. Pretty close, wouldn't you say? Maybe I can mix these. Double dual wielding! Double double dual wielding! This one is also drying out. Kind of why I was hoping to be able to mix it with something. This might just have to be one of those uh, creatively sparse coloring jobs. A little cross hatching. Can definitely use this for some of the stars. Purple star. We gotta make the hourglass look more see-through, and that will happen when we color in the background. Do I just grab like an Ahu black maybe? We could just grab my masking tape and create a square. I'm a little nervous about like losing contrast at the hair, but black is so much darker than that, right? We could also use the sign pen instead of the Ahu pen and that won't bleed through. And then I'll use a gray pen to like color in the hourglass. outline it and then maybe we can go in with the ohu once we get all these little tiny cracks this is like a really old one that i've had for a while that should be fine oh yeah see look at that something about the absence of color brings me back to the sharpie days alcohol markers have a smell but this kind of smells like a moldy smell i mean it is an old marker but i've never noticed it Okay. Now there is definitely some contrast issues with the hair and leotard. Let's see if we can fix that. I'll try this. It's not quite as obvious as I thought this would be. Okay, let's do a light gray color in this hourglass. Some of this should probably go in front of the stars. Oh, I forgot I used that gel pen and it's bleeding out. Bring this back out. Add some highlight here. Just like a little rim light almost. We didn't do the stars. How big do we want them? I have a lot of tiny ones as well, kind of clusters. I think the hourglass needs to be a little darker. Behind the stars and stuff. Maybe a highlight that goes over this. Maybe I should add a little bit of even darker shadows. I never thought to use this with markers, but it works really well. Look how straight that line is. Okay, I like this better. I think it kind of shows off more of my style than this one does. I still really like this area. I think I did a good job of that. But I like this one so much better overall. So maybe this, whatever happened here. I wonder if I could add like spots, kind of like Venus. Give it a planet appearance. I think I did a lot better job recreating that here. I'm also really happy with this like circle shape. I think it did a really good job. The acrylic paint was a bit of a bust, but I have to keep practicing. It's not like it was a waste of time or anything. And we have this. Yeah, I feel like it would still look nice with like a blue ring. Could probably do that with paint. So if I mix like some of that blue with the white, and then it needs to be a little darker. Shh, speckles. I'm gonna stop touching this. I'm only gonna make it worse. I do want to thank you guys for watching. Coming along with me on this uh, acrylic painting turn to marker journey. Let me know what the last time you attempted to draw something transparent and let me know how that went. Again, thank you guys for watching and a big thank you to Zen Pop for sending this box my way to try out and to share with you guys. I will have a link in the description. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!